A new gun task force in the South Bay has made its first major bust, taking a cache of illegal guns and drugs off the streets. Police say the seizure will likely help prevent more violent crime. NBC Bay Air's Damon Trujillo shows us where the guns were found and what this bust really means. The DA says the message is clear to criminals who have these illegal guns and drugs. Detectives will find them and put them in jail. This is what prosecutors call an arsenal. Four assault rifles, four handguns, most of them homemade, body armor, and thousands of rounds of armor-piercing bullets, and drugs including fentanyl, ecstasy, and cocaine. The amount of armor-piercing bullets that these individuals possessed in the thousands of rounds makes the weapons plus this ammunition incredibly dangerous to anyone who came across these individuals. 33-year-old John Fan and 25-year-old Calvin Lay are charged with a combined 18 counts of manufacturing and possessing illegal guns. Police seize the cash from this mobile home on Ford Road in South San Jose. Off camera, neighbors tell me they had no idea this was going on and say the suspects were friendly. But the arrests are a huge sigh of relief for police. Taking that gun off the street, taking that criminal off the street equates to one less shooting, one less homicide one less armed robbery. Last year, San Jose police seized more than 1,200 guns, equating it to one gun every seven hours, mostly by individual beat cops. The newly formed Gun Violence Task Force in Santa Clara County is expected to increase that figure. The task force was formed to take guns away from not only criminals, but also the mentally ill and children. I think this task force is a game changer. It includes more than 10 investigating officers from the DA's office, San Jose Police Department, Sheriff's Office, and the ATF, and they're working with criminalists and analysts in our office. They call it proactive crime fighting in an era where illegal guns have become more easily accessible. In the South Bay, Damian Trujillo, NBC Bay Area News.